Don't chase, attract. How do you become that person who doesn't have to convince people to be with her, to chase after men, to chase after relationships, to chase after friends, any other situations? How do you become that person who does not chase but attracts things into her life? How do you become that woman who is magnetic AF, who doesn't have to struggle in life, constantly working hard to get that relationship, to get that man? How do you become that person who effortlessly attracts things into her life because of who she is, who she is embodying? Well, who you become is the secret to attracting the life that you desire and the things that you want in this life. So often as women, we think that if we put all our focus and energy on the way we look externally, this is what's going to attract the guy, the man. And yes, maybe to some degree, of course, looks do get attention, but... Guess what's more important than that? Guess what's the secret to actually attracting healthy men? It's who you are. The secret is your energy. It's so much more than what you look like. If you focus on who you are being, this is what attracts what you desire rather than chasing rather than struggling, forcing, controlling things to happen. You don't have to chase love or success. When you radiate the essence of who you are, love and success will come to you. In this video, I want to share with you five things that can help you become more of an attractor than chasing because it really is not attractive to chase. You don't want to be that person. So let's get straight into it. How do you become a person who attracts more into their life, the relationship, opportunities, whatever it may be? The first thing is to know your worth. What does this mean? It means to understand that you are unique, that there's nobody else in this world like you. Knowing your worth means to know your value, what you bring to this world, and to know that you alone are enough, that you don't need to constantly seek validation from external things to make you feel good. That's how you stop chasing, whatever that may be. Whether that's a relationship, you're not gonna chase after a man to make you feel good, to make you feel validated. No, 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 no. You know that your worth comes from you and within. You are secure and solid in who you are. You accept your imperfections. That's what it means to know your worth. You understand that materialistic things, as much as we may enjoy them, the handbags, the clothes, we love them, right? But that also does not define your worth. You know that things can come and go. You understand that relationships can come and go. Men come and go. These things are not guaranteed. Therefore, you don't let that define who you are. You are solid and grounded in who you are as a person. You accept yourself and you are comfortable in your own skin. You've worked on yourself. You've done the healing that you need to. You are on a journey to discovering who you are. And this is what gives you your self-esteem. This is how you know what you are worth. And you're not going to put up and settle in relationships that do not bring you joy and fulfillment. If there's anyone mistreating you, you will remove yourself from this situation. That's how you do not chase things in life. The relationship, 
work situations, whatever it may be, because you are so solid in who you are, you don't feel the need to constantly seek it out there, to go after, running after things. Because for you, you are okay in your own frame. Point number two, how do you become someone who's magnetic AF, who doesn't have to chase, who attracts? You are confident in who you are. Confident people do not chase, they attract. The number one thing that men find attractive in women, guess what? It's confidence. Confidence is sex. See, it's so much more than what you look like. Sometimes we think as women that it's how we look like, that that's the most important things. No, I'm telling you, it's not. Now, it doesn't mean don't care, take care of yourself. No, 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 I'm not saying that. What I am saying is it's who you are, the personality, your presence, how you are showing up to the world, the way you treat people. That's what's important. It's your energy what you bring to the table that's what's sexy when you are a confident person when you believe in yourself this is how you attract opportunities this is how you attract men because men love confident women this is how you become an attractor and this is when you don't need to chase after things this is when you become like the bee to the honey <laughs> because you accept yourself. You understand that nobody is perfect. You don't try and be like someone who you are not. You don't try and fit in. You are comfortable in your own skin, even if that means that you have imperfections because you understand that nobody is perfect. You roll with your imperfections. Actually, in fact, it's the things that are unique about you that make you authentic and original that no one can compete with. You don't feel the need to compare yourself to other people because you know that this is the ultimate beef of joy. You, my lovely, understand that you are given some gifts and talents, unique special gifts that nobody else in this world has and it's your responsibility to go and discover those point number three how do you become an attractor and not someone who chases after things because who wants to chase it's hard chasing is exhausting chasing is a struggle we don't want to live like that you don't want to live like that right point number three is to fall in love with your life, living your best life. You only get one shot, my dears. What are you doing with your life? Confident, attractors who don't chase after things, they're not gonna wait for Prince Charming to come and save them because this is a lie. They know that they are the co-creators, the authors, of their life so they'll do whatever it takes to create a life that they love they are having the time of their life confident people people that attract things into their life understand that happiness is their own responsibility they know that if they give their happiness to someone else or if they rely on someone else to make them happy it means they have no control over their life or their happiness they know that they are fully responsible for their own life. They're not going to play victim. They're not going to blame situations. They take responsibility and they're going to create the life of their dreams. What does this mean? What does this mean to you? This means that maybe she, the person who's attracting everything, she's traveling around the world. She's having fun with her friends. Maybe she's going partying. Maybe she's treating herself to the amazing outfits. Whatever it means, she is having the time of her life. That's how you attract and not chase. 
because who wants to be around miserable people? I don't. Do you? No. When you are having the time of your life, this is when you attract. Men want to be part of that. This is when the ex come back and say that they miss you because they realize that, oh, MG, she is, she is that girl. I'm missing out on her. <laughs> when you're having the time of your life, when you're having fun, when you're not waiting for someone to come make you happy, this is when you become a magnet to the things that you want to attract. This is when you don't need to chase after men or other things because it's when we are having fun, when we are experiencing enjoyment. This is when we attract things that we desire. That's the secret to law of attraction. Point number four, how do you become someone who does not need to chase after things in life? How do you become someone who is an attractor? Someone who attracts more things into their life, who doesn't need the need to chase. Someone who attracts into their life the goodness, the opportunities, the relationships, the men, all of these things is someone who is a passionate person. What does this mean? It means someone is interesting and desirable. They're so busy with their life that they don't have time to mope around being about being single, about all the things that they don't have in their life. They are passionate people. Paul, passionate people are freaking magnetic because they are interesting. It's what you do that creates the, your identity. It's what you do that makes you an interesting person. It's what you do that defines who you are. What do you love doing? What are your hobbies? Have you ever asked yourself this question? I really encourage you to find your passions and hobbies because this is what's going to make you an interesting and desirable person because it means you're not going to be desperate and needy to fill your time, to make you happy from something else because you know how to make it yourself. You know how to make yourself feel happy. This could be anything for everyone is different. We all are unique. What we enjoy doing is also unique. Maybe you may like dancing. Maybe you may be into singing, learning an instrument, art, making a YouTube video, whatever it may be, find what you enjoy doing. This will bring you real fulfillment. You don't always have to get fulfillment from being in a relationship. You can get it from other things in life. What gives you meaning and purpose? Go discover that. Maybe you can work towards a cause that you feel really passionate about. Passionate people are magnetic people. Passionate people do not need to chase. They attract. I'm telling you, I encourage you to go and find the things that you feel passionate about because this is what creates your identity and this is what's going to make you truly desirable that people want to be a part of. Point number five. How do you become someone who attracts and who doesn't need to keep chasing? You need to practice self-love and self-care. Rather than pouring your energy, looking for love in someone else, telling someone else, please love me, please love me. No, no, no. In order to become someone who attracts love, in order to become someone who attracts things into your life, you need to practice love. You need to practice loving yourself and taking care of yourself because when you do this you are telling the universe I love myself and that's when you will get that reflection back people will treat you the way you treat yourself this is just the way it works how are you treating yourself are you taking care of your body when we take care of our body it helps us feel good this is a vessel this is what helps us get through life we need to take care of it eating good food nutritious food taking care of your body exercise so important when you're taking care of yourself you're showing the world that you love yourself and people will treat you like that when you present yourself you take care of the way you dress and you show up 
to the universe, to the world. People will treat you accordingly. Unfortunately, people are visual creatures. We all are. We judge people by the way they look. I know this may not be a good thing, but this is what we do. Even if we want to admit it to ourselves or not, it's true. If you show up in rags and you go out there, I can guarantee I can guarantee you people will treat you differently than if you made some effort about the way you dress and the way you look. People will treat you differently. That's just the way it is. Invest in yourself. The best investment you can make is in yourself. Work on yourself. Whatever that means, if you are someone where you're not happy with the way you look, this is the time for you to get into shape because this will help you make you feel confident. And when you're confident, that's when you attract, attract things. Maybe you want to change your wardrobe. Maybe you can express yourself in a way that you feel like you've been hiding. When you embrace your true authentic self, fall in love with yourself. Pour the energy back into yourself. When you become a little selfish and start loving yourself, that's when you start attracting the things that you desire because you are showing the world that you are worth it. You are worthy of the things that you desire. And why shouldn't you be? You deserve the best in this life. And you need to start believing that. You need to start treating yourself like that. And it all starts from within. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to add anything. I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm sending you my love. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.